Boys, I bought five different types of cheeses. Brie, cheddar, gruyere, goat, and blue. And I'm challenging my roommates to see if blindfolded they can taste the difference between an expensive cheese and a cheap cheese. This is like some from fancy, it's from some fancy cheese shop, but it has like really small servings. I'm going to be setting up basically little samplers of each type. And then I think I'll just have them keep going at it. That's pretty much the idea. Whoever gets the most correct, I'll give $500 and they will be awarded the title of Slim Jim Champion, Cheese Master Edition. All right, these are the Breeze. Fancy Brie, Cheap Brie. I'll bring them all up in a moment. But let me just start by setting it all up. Then we have our Gruyere. I think this Gruyere was probably about like 15 bucks for just this little shred. And then we have a giant slab over here. Gruyere, I will say, I think they'll enjoy. I think it's like the best all around cheese. Uh, they're gonna hate the blue cheese, man. I, I, don't even, I don't know if it'll be worth the 500 for some of them. I'm a fake French chat. One time when I was a kid, my mom made fondue and I left the house for three hours until the smell cleared. It fucked up my day. I don't even wanna open these, dude. This is gonna make the whole room smell. Goat cheese. What person in society thought to milk a goat? I guess it's not weirder than cows. Oh, look at that. Look at this, this is fancy goat cheese. Oh gosh, it actually smells great. It's so strong though. They can eat this, right? That's totally fine. Probably part of the experience. Oh, it's such a, that's such a small piece. I'll just leave that as is. Godspeed to my competitors. And this is blue cheese. This is where the pedal hits the metal. The metal hits the pedal. Let me show it to you boys. This actually just smells like blue cheese dressing. I think cheap blue cheese is like supposed to be aimed towards like the masses. So that actually didn't smell bad at all. I'm worried about this one though. Look at that. I mean like if you're a cheese guy, you might be losing your shit right now. Cause that looks perfect. Oh, oh. Wow, okay. It does not leave a lot to be discovered. Does that make sense? So right now I've put all the fancy cheeses on the right and I need to mix it up a bit. So what I'll do is I'll use my patented Mogul Move stickers and I'll just put it underneath. That way it's just underneath the side that it's on. That way I can spin it whichever direction. I think everybody's gonna get the goat cheese. The only one that's kind of hard to tell I think is the blue cheese and then the Gruyere and the cheddar. So this is our first one. This is our uh, blue cheese. Now just visually, can you tell the difference? Can you tell which one is fancy? It's somewhat difficult. This one's definitely more star studded. Has a little bit more mold, yeah. Then there's this one. This one is very visually apparent. And the goat cheese on the left, it's like a, this is a paste. And this is the goat cheese on the right, that's the very fancy one. Uh, this is the brie, just way creamier. I mean, this thing is like a, this thing's thick. This thing's like, you touch it and your hand's already sticky. And then these two, I, I can't tell visually. Visually, I have nothing. This is cheddar, I think. Can you tell which is which? I can't. And then this is Gruyere. I think this will be the hardest to tell. This is the set, look at this. It's the same thing. So they're all gonna be blindfolded. That'll make it a little bit easier for me. And by, for me, I mean harder for them. Come here, come here, come on. That rug, so gonna slip on come it. on, so Grandpa. Chair's here. Do you remember your chair? It's a little further up, Grandpa. Dude, being blind would suck so bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Slime, welcome. Hello. Hope you're having a good day today. Yeah. Come on. I have your LaCroix for you. In my, ha in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so in front of you today, there are five different cheeses. Yeah. Your goal will be to tell which one is the more expensive cheese. If you win, not only will you be crowned the, uh, the cheese champion, you get the Slim Jim belt. Okay. You'll get $500. You, we talked about a million earlier. Right, you know what? I talked to my money guy. He said, nah. That's me. Yeah, I talked to you about it. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I, have no, I have nothing. Is there a cheese you prefer to start off with? You don't want to start stanky or? I want to get wet. I'm getting more and more confused. I'm going to give you, I'm just going to give you blue cheese. All right. So this is blue cheese. The plate is in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so intense. Yeah. Mm. 
I feel like the left one, it was like getting punched in the mouth. Okay. And, uh, you know, I feel like expensive cheeses are determined by their, their power. Yeah. Their, their energy levels. And I felt like Mega Man just now. And I feel like I flip, flip a car after that. So okay. I think that the left one that I ate first was the, the expensive one and the right one felt like it, you know, was a, a consumer level. You got one correct. Let's go. Fuck. That man. was the more expensive cheese, but this is just the start it was, slime. It was extreme. It was like someone like put a lighter into my, on my- lips. Clean the palate out. Get some LaCroix down. All right, your next cheese is up. This is Gruyere. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It's played in front. It's a swear, right? You have two tiny cubes right here and right here. Mm. Try not to misplace them too much, but one is more expensive than the other, fancier than the other. Okay. You just have to try both cheeses and let me know. Mm. You only get one go at this. A Gruyere. Gruyere. All right. Well, no, you don't really pronounce the R. Go. <laughs> you don't just skip it. You would just you go Gruyere. Gruyere. No, you killed him, man. Mm. Whoa. Big taste differential. Yeah. Wow. That one I just had. I had like magic inside of it. Okay. I had like special tastes of a faraway land. Okay. I felt like I was eating part of a tree. Very weird. I'm gonna say that the last, the, the second one I ate uh -huh. was the expensive kind. Because the first one, it didn't have that, that special power inside of it. Slime? Like a good cheese has. You went with the second cheese, the tree cheese. That was correct again. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so sick. You are two for two on cheeses. This actually might be too easy, Ludwig. I'm, I'm curious. I'm very good and goaded and strong and good. I'm cool. Maybe you're just cracked. We'll see what the other competitors do. If you slip up on one, then it becomes a lot easier for everyone else. Oh, is this the brie? This is the brie. Because I feel the rind. Yeah. You ate that like a little squirrel. It's like the grossest way to eat. That. I don't know, dude. I can't. I can't see. <laughs> now this is tough. I think the one on the right is the expensive cheese. The this one. The first one you had. The first one I had. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Are you sure? Yeah, bro. All right. Uh, you said the cheese on the right. Yeah. That was correct. Go, it was go. the cheese on the right. Yes. You are three for three, slime. It's easy because I have the palate. So I, I grew up poor. You know that. You know. You do but talk I, about it sometimes. I have a palate of a of a wealthy man because my taste buds were forged in the fires of Kraft mac and cheese and and processed foods. Wait, doesn't that mean the opposite? No, if you... because when I taste the sweet Appalachian mountains of of, of God cheese, there's a difference. Cause you have craft every day. When you, it's not craft, you come, you know. Yeah, but it's also if like if I was eating like a like a lava rock, I would also know the difference. It's like Dark Souls, cheese. Right. Yeah. This is the Dark Souls of Buzzfeed challenges. <laughs> you have two more cheeses in front of you. One on the top. One on the bottom. <laughs> you are three for three right now. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm just a king. So you felt your first cheese. That's your second cheese. This is. Goat cheese. Chev. I hate goat cheese. I don't want to suck a goat's milk. I don't want it. So you want a cow then? Yeah. They're, Why? They're better. Why? Goats have square pupils. It's weird. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Oh, this tastes like a swimming pool. <laughs> the question is, which one did you like better? Which one tastes like a swimming pool to you? Oh, the, the top one tastes like a swimming pool. <laughs> But oddly enough, I feel like that's the kind of weird shit that wealthy people are into. <laughs> swimming pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the top one, the swimming pool goat cheese is the more expensive cheese because of its uh, disturbing flavor profile. Slime? Yeah. You are correct. Let's fucking go. You dude. are now four for four. Mm. You could have a perfect game right here and make it very hard for your competitors. The best anyone can do is tie you. That is the right cheese that you're eating right now. What's wrong? Too much cheddar? Cheddar is a bit of a, a thicker cheese. 
It, it feels like the way like a bowling alley smells. That's how it tastes. <laughs> that was, you know what I'm saying? No. Hmm. Hmm. This one's much more pleasant. Okay. The other cheese is trying to fuck with me. Yeah. It's like someone in chat just trying to like rattle my cage. That one's just like a pog. I'm like, I'm white and I'm a pussy, right? So if, like, if, I, if I eat something spicy, it's yeah. like, this is like work, this is painful. Yeah. Rather than me just wanting to like shovel food in my mouth. It is the road that is easier to travel sometimes. What I'm saying is the cheese, uh, the first one was too spicy for me, I think. But however, I think that that spice and that like challenging is a signal that it is the more expensive cheese than the other one was just, you know, your your store bought your Walmart cheese. So you think the right cheese is the more expensive cheese? The first one I tried, yeah. I did went this is the one on the right. Slime, you went four for four. Yeah. On the first four cheeses. Call me Wendy, bitch. And now you are Call saying me Wendy. it is the cheese on the right that is more expensive. If I get the it first right, one if, I get it, if I get it right, call me Wendy. If you get this right, you will go five for five. If there's a sticker on this side, you just crushed top to bottom every cheese. Slime. Congratulations on a B minus. No, really? The left cheese was the oh, more expensive cheese. Fuck. The right cheese was the less expensive cheese. Oh. You failed on cheddar, you went four for five. It is not a perfect round. And you can't call me what I asked you to call me. I cannot call you that. All right, well, you can take off your blindfold. Congratulations, you went four for five. That's pretty good. As long as nobody else goes four for five. And oh goes my God. Three or less, you win. So go ahead, you still have a chance of winning. Get any of the other three competitors, tell them to come down in a minute, and uh, I'm gonna set up the next board. Oh. No, it's, uh, no, no, I thought, you'd be, I thought you'd recoil. He's been doing this all fucking day, dude. Now I watch the newsies, they do it all the time in the newsies. He's been uh, coming up to us and he'll be like, oh, Ludwig Anders, and we'll like run a bit, and he'll spit on his hand and then like go to shake your hand, and it's so weird. Stop doing it. I I'll be selling papes, I'm selling papes is all. <laughs> Jesus, all right. What do you think about your chances? I think I have the most game sense of anyone here. Do you think you're a cheese whiz? Oh. I'm, gl I'm glad I can't see you, man. Wait, what? It's like a... I'm glad I can't see you right now. It's like it's a funny joke. This is okay. your plate. Okay. You have two cheeses, one on your right, one on your left. Oh, God, it smells so bad. You can eat them in any order. You can smell them in any order. Okay. I think I know the answer already, but I haven't tasted it yet. I will tell you, this is a new strategy. No one has ever tried to guess based off of feel. Nick, Dude. no likey. Oh God, that is miserable. <laughs> oh God, that fucked me up. I don't ever want to ever do that again. Okay, but I have to do it. I literally you have to do it again. You do have to do it again. I'm ready. Sure. That one's more pleasant. Not nearly as bad. It's very floral. It, it's like if you mixed lavender and what I imagine like taking a bite of a car's tire would be like. Okay, I'm getting an image. Yeah, the first one is like the Lunchables cheese and this one is like a bit of rubber and some flowers. Okay, uh, so. I would like to give my answer though. Which one, Nick, yeah. is the more expensive cheese? The one on my right side yeah. is the more expensive and the more on my left is the cheaper. If the sticker is on the right, on this side, then you will get one point. You were correct. Let's fucking go, dude. You were correct. So now where do you want to go with that? You want to stay on the stink train or you want to go off? <laughs> I'm trying to ride the stink train until the wheels fall off, brother. Okay. Wow. I'm learning a lot right now. About what? My sexuality. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. That tastes like a, that tastes like a foot. All right, round two. Goat cheese is weird, man. Yeah. It tastes how like old people smell. Ugh. I think the one on the top is the more expensive one and the one on the bottom is the cheaper one. You are two for two. Let's fucking go, dude. We're going down the stink meter now to Brie. Ah, <sighs> okay. There's one on your bottom, one on your top yet again. That's Pog. That's some pog chi, just like mama used to make. Your mom made brie? I have my answer. Okay. One on the bottom, one on the top. Nick, which one was the more expensive cheese? The one on the bottom, closest to me, is the more expensive, and the one on the top is the cheaper. 
So if the sticker's on the bottom, you get a point? I, I think so. You're exactly right. Three for three, Nick, and you are crushing the competition. Now, things are hey, gonna I'm get- I'm kind of a cheese whiz, huh? I'm like kind of cheese whiz. That was my joke, and you made fun of me What do you it. mean? You didn't say that. I thought it was funny. You never said that. You never said that. Your next cheeses are getting more mild. Maybe that makes it harder. Maybe that makes it easier. You have two cheeses, one in your top, one in your bottom. You have to tell me which one is which. Your content's getting a little more mild, man. It's just hurtful. It's just a hurtful thing to say. Everyone's good wanting you in chat, too. Everyone's saying, lol, W, good one. Thanks for watching. What are these? What cheese is this? I, what That's cheese? cheddar. They're, they're both cheddar? They're both cheddar cheese. <laughs> okay. I said that weird. Uh, it's because I wasn't <laughs> sure cheddar. I had to smell the other cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love cheddar cheese. It is cheddar. That's a classic. I got it. The one uh, on the bottom, oh wait, the bottom, the one closest to me? Yeah. That is the cheaper one, and the one on top is the more expensive one. Okay. So the sticker is on the top. You get another point. You were wrong. The one in the bottom was the more expensive cheese. Wow. That one tastes really good on the top though. One final contest. Okay. One in the bottom, one in the top. This is Gruyere. It is a very mild cheese. It's like the most pleasant, okay. least challenging. Wow. Great cheese. This is tough? Yeah. Are they very similar? Is that why? Dude, this is fucking hard. You could get it right. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a 50-50. Okay, here's my thought, ready? Yeah. Here's my thought process. Sure. On the one before, I had a very clear rationale. Yeah. And it ended up being the opposite. Mm. This one, or the one on the bottom and the last one, the cheddar, felt like harder, and the other one felt a little softer. And I thought hard meant like rubbery cheap. Yeah. But apparently it meant expensive. Now like I'm getting, the same vibe is happening with these cheeses. Hmm but I've tasted them so many times now that I can't tell which one tastes different. They blended in a way. I think I'm ready. Tell me which one was the more expensive cheese, the top or the bottom? I think the one that was closest to me uh -huh. was the more, more expensive one. And the one on top was the cheaper one. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Take off your blindfold. <clears throat> if the sticker on the bottom here is actually on the bottom, then you go four for five, tying slime. Okay. Congratulations. It's on the bottom. Let's fucking go! You're four for five, you're tied with slime. Wait, which one did he get wrong? He also got cheddar wrong. Bro, I think you switched them. No, I didn't. Cap. For both of you? Cap. Stop saying cap. cap. I did it in front of Cap. Capsule. But don't just say capsule. Capsule. It's factual. Is it factual? It's factual. Sounds capsule. Not capsule. Well. <sighs> it was a pleasure. Get aiming for me. I got you. No, yeah, you can't. No. Relax. Kylie Jenner, I'm not going to make out with you. You always Aiden, hot mic, hey. Uh, <laughs> Amen, I'm your Sherpa, your mm -hmm. cheese whiz. Mm -hmm. Get it? No. And I'm going to guide you through five different types of cheeses. So let's start with cheddar. I have all five cheeses now, and let's get this show on the road. Mmm. This is good. Yeah, you're eating it like this is like a like a like a like a restaurant. Like I'm serving you cheeses blindfolded as an experience, not like a contest. You could like charge people for this, you know? That one was really good. I think that was some of the best cheese I ever had. If that's the normal one, then I'm fucked. Okay, that's fair. This is the second cheese. Now the question is aim game. Which cheese That has to be the cheap one. Wow. That has to be the cheap one. Really? So you're saying the bottom one is the less expensive cheese. I'm gonna look like such a fucking idiot if I'm wrong. Do you think you got it right? Yeah, I, did. I think I got it right. I, I will be sh shook to my core for the rest of the challenge if I'm wrong. It would be tough to start off with a loss. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. Can I say something? What? This cheddar, if you guys seen the Matrix, you know when they're like, nobody ever makes their first jump. Feel the back of this plate. Nobody makes their first jump. Yeah. If you get it on the first try, you're the one. And guess what, Eamon? I'm the one? 
No, you you're lost. You're not the one. Oh, you get shot at the, the end of the movie. The sticker's on the top. You get shot. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, you lost. Dude. It was the other chair. Oh, I was so excited. I was like, I'm fucking Neo, bro. I'm yeah. Cheese Neo. You, you were... <laughs> For a brief moment, I thought it was Cheese Neo. <laughs> you were not Cheese Neo, bro. <laughs> and you're my Morpheus. I am I am your Morpheus, but you picked the blue pill you and, and your, the movie ended really fast. You and your gap teeth. Wasn't the lesson at the end of Matrix was that ignorance is bliss and you could just ignore it all and live in happiness. Wasn't that the moral of that movie? No, it was do dope kung fu in your dreams. Might have, might need to watch Matrix <laughs> again. Same thing, one so the I bottom. I, do I know which, sorry, did you say which one this was? Do I get this to know This is Gruyere. I, Gruyere. Yeah. It is a Swiss cheese mm -hmm. from the mountains of Switzerland. They actually milk the cows there who are more muscular because they have to go through the mountain range as opposed to farm bred cows, which is where this gets its flavor. Gruyere is French for strong cow. For real? Yeah. That's so sick. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom cheese. This is really solid. You like that cheese. That was better. That was also very interesting because wow. Like with cheddar, I could tell they're cheddar cheese. Mm. But with this, I they almost take like taste like different cheeses. I mm. feel like they don't. So now, Aiden, the question is, which was the more expensive cheese? The top or the bottom? I can't, I guess, I feel like I can't just go with the one that's, with the one that I thought was better, can I? You're saying because you picked the cheddar that you thought tasted better, that perhaps yeah. this aligns with that. Yeah, like like I'm thinking about like the the way it kind of like melted in my mouth a bit differently, mm -hmm. the way it tasted a bit stronger. I'm that makes like worried sense. Worried about that. Yeah, that makes I sense. Feel like my sample my sample size is too small for failure. I'm gonna go with the top one. The top one is the more expensive cheese. The top one is the more expensive cheese. Final the answer. Second one I ate. Final answer. Unlike Valorant, you did not go zero and two right now. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is brie. Mm -hmm. I do like brie. I will say your strategy of just chomping down the entire piece I gave you is new. I think it's optimal. Much like sushi, a delicacy, but one that you eat in one bite. So this is this is interesting because this just feels okay. Like off the bat, it actually just feels different. That's so creamy. That's very good too. Just based off of my experience with this cheese, assuming that I haven't gone my whole life magically eating very high quality brie mm -hmm. at small family and friend gatherings, that has to be the more expensive one, the one on the top that I just ate. You're saying because the bottom cheese tasted similar to the ones you have mm -hmm. at your gatherings, that yeah. most likely your friends and family are not stacked, loaded, buying fancy chi. Yeah, I think they're they're buying mid chi. Aiden? Yes, sir. You went two for three. Let's go. So far, so good. Now we're Let's getting go. to the stink zone. This All is right. goat cheese. This is this is goat. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. This so is goat cheese. Mmm, very creamy. So that was honestly pretty good. I like the little like the tang or the, I, I mean, the the strength, if you will. Sure. When we're talking about strong cheeses. Okay, you didn't mind that. cheeses, no, it was good. I will tell you what, good. your competitors did not feel the same. Probably not as like cool and as open-minded, you know? Yeah. I haven't experienced the world's cuisines. They, it is probably because they're lame and not cool. Yeah. Although Slime used his growing <laughs> up in poverty as his base for all of his answers. Oh. If it's something a, that he doesn't feel like he should have tried in his broke years. What a cop out. <laughs> <laughs> one final goat cheese, and then you tell me which one is more expensive, top or bottom. Okay. This also, the texture of this is a little, a little creamier, although more similar than the Gouda was. Does creaminess mean expensive to you, or is it just a difference you consider? That was stronger. Okay. And admittedly, maybe something I wouldn't eat as casually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess and say that the fancier thing was like the stronger thing. Much like the Gouda, the creamier thing. Yeah. Although I worry maybe it was like a little creamy in like a cheap way, but, but we'll see. 
Let's go. Let's go with the top one. Let's go with the top one. Is yeah. the more expensive cheese? Top one more expensive. Okay. Is he getting the bell? Can you hold this for me? Yes. Are you baiting me? Because this is the last time you'll ever be able to hold this. You no. were incorrect. And you are the biggest loser so far in our competition. It was not the oh. top cheese. It was the bottom cheese. The top cheese is a very cheap goat cheese, uh, which guarantees you place lower than your competitors. <gasps> both now, of them? Both of them. Fuck! No, yeah. they went four and one? They went four and five. Both. But hey. You could still beat out Cutie. You might not be the biggest loser of the day. Mm -hmm. Let's just get one more cheese out of the way. Shit. It's blue cheese. Blue cheese is something that I remember not liking. So yeah. We'll see how this goes. Some of your competitors felt similarly. That's very strong, but it's kind of good. I think that would taste really good on like a cracker. Okay. It's been an honor. This has been an experience. At the end of the day, you can walk away enjoying the flavors of the cheese. Oh. Does it feel like you like that one as much? Man, that was not enjoyable. <laughs> oh. Now, blue cheese is actually named after the mold that yeah. it grows. I actually am familiar with that. That's what always why it freaked me out. So Aiden, the question is, which cheese is more expensive, the top or the bottom? Okay, I have had blue cheese before, so I'm gonna go off my kind of like my Gouda take. Yeah. Or my Brie take. Okay. So I'm gonna say the second one I ate, which I think was the top one. It was the one I did not like. Was the more expensive one. It was the rank one. You've already gotten two wrong, which is the worst of anyone's performance today. Well, There's no upsides for you. There's only three competitors, so. Only downside. Take off your blindfold. Yes. <laughs> three for five. Three for five, not let's bad. go. What happened if the three of us tied? Uh, well, Cutie would probably still win. Fuck, I wish I'd gone four. Fuck. I'm gonna get bullied for not knowing fucking cheeses, dude. Cutie, for the love of God, you need to get all five cheeses. Oh my God, it smells awful in here. Now, Cutie, um, which yeah. cheese would you like to start with? I'm not ready. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, first of all, first of all, I feel like I have the most to lose here because I have the most food experience. Yes, that yeah. is true. Well, there's actually nothing to lose. You only win 500, you don't pay to enter. I know, but I like lose my pride. Cause I, I actually, this is very cool of me and um, hip. I used to, this is actually really embarrassing. And I shouldn't say this out loud. I used to have a blog where I would write about charcuteries in like, that were served at restaurants and would rate them. Cause I love cheese. I love charcuterie. Yeah. Um, so if I get this wrong, it's probably cause I overthink it, but I know a lot about cheese actually. Which <laughs> cheese would you like to start with? Uh, I believe I should start with most mild. So I'm gonna start with brie. Oh, this is a thick rind. Does that mean something for you? No. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Cutie Cinderella. Welcome to the stream. Um, as a culinary professional, I would like to give you a fun tip about brie. You should eat it on crackers with some jam. <laughs> Is this become your blog now? Yeah. So brie is the same as Bruyere, where it gets more pungent with age. So it's definitely the top. The top one. So if the sticker's on the top, you get one point, and you're closer to maybe going clean sweep. Yeah. You were correct. Yes. I know a secret about cheddar. What? Cheddar is interesting because cheddar with age actually loses its silkiness. Often, if you get really, really expensive fancy cheddar, you'll get these little granule crystals in it. The best cheddar I've ever had had granite, like little crystals like that you could crunch, you could literally fill them. This one has some buoyancy and this one is crumbly. I haven't tasted it yet, but I have a feeling this is the nicer one. Um, I'm not entirely sure, let me taste it. Oh, interesting, hmm. What? I might be changing my mind here. Okay. Oh, I just got a, sh I got a granule on this one. It's gotta be this one. I just, I just bit it. So you are saying the top one is, is the expensive. more expensive cheese. Yeah. Now the way it works is if I flip it up and there's a sticker on the top, it means you were right. If there is not, you were wrong. Uh huh. Cutie Cinderella, you are wrong. Oh my God, really? The more expensive cheese was on the bottom. That's super weird. I have a feeling it's a brand thing and not an age thing. It's I'm okay. No, I'm mad. Well, there's three more cheese that you need to try and I don't pick. even care anymore. Do you want to walk Already away? Lost. No, I'll go, I'll eat it. Okay, well then the cheese is over here. This is Gruyere. There's one cheese on the top and one cheese on the bottom. I don't know. They all taste like cheese now. I've lost my passion. Everything I've ever stood for is gone. Which cheese is more expensive? Um, the top. Why do you say the top? I don't know, it's just more pungent. 
and that's what Gruyere does. So you'd assume that age would be associated with cheese, but I got her with age with price, but I don't fucking know. Okay? I don't know. You were correct. Great. I'm Next so up is goat cheese. I actually don't love goat cheese plain. It's a bit pungent. It's a really soft goat cheese. Usually it's a little more crumbly, like, oh, like this. So this means this is the cheap one mm. because this is what I'm used to buying. Yeah. <laughs> The, the bottom one is more expensive. All right, final cheese is the blue cheese. Wait, was I right? You were right, oh, I forgot oh. the shell, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, you were so right, yeah, it's the bottom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah. She is right, my bad, I totally forgot. She just kind of said it so factually, I thought. Yeah, it was very easy to tell, because I use that, that other cheese, it comes in a log and it's probably like, I didn't even Seven dollars, and I put it in salads very often, so I... One final it. cheese, blue cheese. I like blue cheese. You are three for four. Mm-hmm. I'm very disappointed, actually. <sighs> I'm a spinster in the world of cheese. I have nothing left. Okay, you're being very dramatic. It's still possible to win. <laughs> you just need to get one final cheese. Two cheese. Both blue. Both blue, which means one it's mold, cheap, everybody. One inexpensive. No, the opposite. One inexpensive, one oh, wow. expensive. I have a feeling this is a cheap one already. Why? Um, it is almost uh, rubbery. Mm. It's almost, uh, it's proce it's like, it feels like a processed blue cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I was right. The top one is more expensive. Slime and Nick both got four correct. Oh. Aiden got three correct. Oh. Every single person got cheddar wrong. Flip the table. So mad. Take off your blindfold. <sighs> if you get it right, you tie with Slime and Nick. Uh-huh. And then it goes into... A cheddar off. A sudden death free for all. We have to try it melted and see if we can see the difference. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. The final cheese, blue, you said top. You were? Correct. It is the top cheese, which wow. means you tie with Nick in slime, and we have to go to sudden death. Hey, wait, go upstairs. Up here this is for winners death. only. Now there's no, the only shutter, one the way the, to do sudden the, death, the, and it's by pulling the straw, no, no, no. <laughs> the way God intended. In front of me, I have three stickers. I've ripped them so they are varying lengths. Oh my God. Whoever gets the longest one wins. Oh, there's two shorts. There are two shorts, one long. Two lovely, one day. Exactly. Got it. All right. So you're going to pull on three. Whoever has the longer one wins. One, two, three. Cutie Cinderella! Come on down. Justice is served in this world. You could have got this one too, Slime. You pulled first. Man. You did pull first. You pulled last. Thumbnail. Okay. Thumbnail time. Map it out. Whoa. How, what does it mean, though? Like, what does this mean? Why is there a cat in the phone now? All right, so you put a big slum jig right around here. Okay. Yeah, like right there. Okay. Get on it. Okay. Oh, All right. He loves yeah. it. Surely. That'll be the thumbnail, right? Well, we'll I'll ask my editors. You'll pay me for that, right? Well. I pay your editors, by the way. Yeah. Okay. I do all of that. Wait, well, we can just leave it to the for gods them. to decide. Anyway, congratulations. The only one everybody got wrong was the cheddar. It was a mix up. It was bad. The cheddar was a mix up. Hey, I, old croc. Hey, no brands, no brands. Don't worry. Cheddar. You guys don't worry about it, guys. Just worry about. Thank you guys so much. Have, have a good one.